This is a video for uh, how to tune your Moog and uh, basically for people who can't be bothered reading the manual. Um, so what you want to do is um, set your master tuning to zero and um, then your second oscillator to that middle zero point and third oscillator to that middle zero point as well. Um, you just want a normal sound Make sure your pitch wheel is in the middle and um, filters open and a little bit of sustain. Um, no oscillator modulation or filter modulation going on. Mod wheels down, um, pretty much ready to go. Um, turn all the sound sources off except for oscillator one. Um, set it to four or two and you want to press down the highest A key. Um, I'm using a Jandal here. You can use whatever you want. Um, so then you want to basically jump around the back of the Moog, Moog and these um, holes at the back, this is oscillator one, this is oscillator two, this is oscillator three um, this is for the low part of the keyboard and this is for the higher part of the keyboard. So we're tuning up oscillator one first. So that's the higher part of the keyboard. And Jandal's just fallen off, but we put that back on. Um, you basically have to jump in the back here with a screwdriver um, and turn a screw um, without touching the sides. It's kind of like playing the game of operation a little bit, else it screws with your tuning if you touch the sides. Um, so I'm using this uh, Torx screwdriver that um, came with when I installed my OWC uh, solid state drive. I was opening that. Funny enough, it works really well for tuning the back of the Moog. You can use it like a flathead or a Phillips, but this is good because it's nice and thin. Um, it works pretty well. So you basically want to put that in the back there. Oh, there you go. And then I'm just referencing off the computer using Logic. You don't actually have to hear anything. You can just look at it, and you can see when I'm touching the sides, it goes all over the show. Um, let's get it in there, and you can basically turn the screw left and right, and get your desired pitch. It's a little fiddly. It is made in 1974. idea and so then after that you take your jandal you put on the lowest A and set your range down to like 16 um, that, that way your metering device can read that properly if I set, if you set it down to 32 I can still read it no it, it switches off too, it's too low of an oscillation, I think. Um, so yeah, set that, and then you just have to jump around the back and muck around in the low range um, screw at the back and do the same thing. So you just screw out, um, play around with it until you reach the, um, the A at the bottom there. Um, and yeah, so you get the idea. Uh, you got to do it, and then once you've done that, you turn the first oscillator off, uh, turn the second oscillator on, set that, make sure you set it right at, at the zero, and repeat 
through those steps for the second oscillator and turn that off and then the third oscillator and then in the end you should have everything sweetly in tune hope that helps